So you got a Bible verse that you think applies to you, but I'm going to show you how it doesn't. Yes, yeah, so I've been reading 1 Timothy 6.10. Oh, yeah. Great verse. Yeah, well, it says that the love of money is the root of all evil. Yeah, so what's the problem? Well, I think that I might kind of, you know, love money. Hmm. No, you don't. Well, yeah, I think maybe I kind of do. Hmm. No. No, you don't. Well. I mean... Nope. Just a, just a little bit. <laughs> but, but maybe. Yes! Okay, so tell me why it is you think you love money. Well, I kind of think about it all the time. Mm-hmm. Actually, I kind of obsess about it, and it's sort of what I base all my life decisions on. Right. I never have a sense of peace because there's never enough, and all I think about is the vacations I can't go on, the things I can't have, and the stuff I can't do. Naturally. I live with an irrational sense of fear that if I don't hoard enough, then I'm going to be living on the streets or I'm going to have to live somewhere yucky. Yuck is bad. Right. It seems like no matter how much I have, I never have enough. It kind of seems like I love money. No, it sounds like you like money, but you don't like like money, if you know what I mean. I mean, what you need to do is you need to think about all those people out there who have real problems with money. Okay. Let me throw some names at you. The Kardashians. Hmm. How about Jeff Bezos? Oh, yeah, that guy. He, he loves money. Overpaid athletes, rock stars, people on MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs? Is that still a thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Also, don't forget about all those people that live right next to you and do all the things that you would do if you had that much money. <laughs> yeah, those people are obsessed. Exactly. I mean, this verse is awesome for those people with the real problem. No, what you need to do is you need to start talking about this verse immediately with all your friends and applying it to all of those people. Oh, yeah. That's important. Let me ask you something. Do you give to charity? Well... Of course. Young man, how much did you claim for your charitable contributions last year? Wow. Yeah. See, and how much money did you make last year? So, combined household income? Sure. Well, that's only 1% of your income. Never mind, you're doing a great job. See, you're a generous person who's just financially responsible. You, sir, do not have a love of money problem. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. Of course it does. Isn't this a great verse? So good. I mean, for other people. Yes, for other people. Okay, well, this has been really great. I I'm, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much. This makes me feel so much better. Yes. Of course it does. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that last thing? Nothing. You get out of here. Sweet. See you next time. Oh, yes. Next time.